OTS launched its first semester program in tropical medicine and global health in the spring of 2009 in Costa Rica, led by Dr. Jorge Benavides. The program is conducted both in the fall and spring. The Costa Rica semester program utilizes two OTS field stations and also visits Panama or Nicaragua in alternating semesters to provide students with a unique opportunity to learn how medicine is practiced in an ecologically diverse developing country. This includes socialized medicine, traditional Western medicine, and alternative medicine as practiced in Costa Rica. During the course, students will have a combination of lectures, student-led activities, and a lot of field work in which they can have a lot of hands-on learning and experience working with uh, local communities and have an impact in these communities. My favorite experience during the semester has been when our group went to Los Alturas, uh, which is a small community that doesn't receive healthcare very often, and we held a three-day clinic there. And in addition to that, we took um, samples of blood and tested for various diseases. And I think the aspect of that that was most inspiring was the fact that I didn't necessarily come into this program as a pre-med, and seeing a community that doesn't even have the most basic level of health care uh, and, and being able to provide to a certain degree uh, health care that they don't have was very inspiring. We will visit local communities as well as indigenous communities. For example, the Boruca community, which is located in the Pacific side of Costa Rica. So today we visited the Brunca community. During the talk that we had with them, they showed us which textiles they use, um, how they weave different bags, carpets, blankets, and things like that. They also showed us how they dye all the textiles and fibers with natural um, things such as leaves and roots, which was really interesting because I'd never really seen the actual um, dyeing process. We then um, got to take a hike to have lunch and saw a beautiful waterfall and a really nice kind of serene place. We hung out there for a while with everyone and it was just a really great experience. I really enjoyed uh, visiting the six indigenous communities that we got a chance to see in Costa Rica. Um, I feel that it was an experience that not a lot of people do when they come to study abroad because it's something that not a lot of people have access to and I was really excited about that. The students learn about the tropical environment and its unique challenges, including diseases, cultural medicinal practices, and the growing concerns associated with the international travel and globalization, including climate change impacts on health. Visits to four different indigenous groups provide the students an opportunity to broaden their cultural perspective. You know, it's one thing to hear about poor access to health care and another thing to go out and get in a four-wheel uh, you know, drive truck and uh, hike up uh, an hour or two hours to um, a health post at uh, one of these um, indigenous groups and see what that actually means. I also think that as, um, you know, as undergrad pre-medical students, we take chemistry and biology and all the um, core science classes, but it's really great to be able to appreciate um, all the things that go into promoting a healthy society. To be able to leave your comfort zone and it gives you a great opportunity to experience an, an entirely different culture and to learn about an entirely different health system. This program includes a lot of traveling and students will get a chance to live in very different settings including San Jose, the capital of Costa Rica, where they would be living with Costa Rican families. And we will also stay at OTS stations that include La Selva Biological Station and Las Cruces Biological Station. So now we're at Las Cruces Field Station and we're all living here in a big house together and it's really a wonderful experience and there's, we have the, surrounded by the beautiful botanic garden and there's a lot of things to look at even when you're not studying. Um, 
and all the staff here is fantastic. The food is great, the weather's great, and it's a really, overall, a great place to learn and study. By the end of the course, students have a good understanding of how closely woven the areas of ecology, tropical medicine, and culture are. Environmental, genetic, and socioeconomic factors are major contributors to our understanding the medical issues facing Costa Rica and the Hispanic population today. The capstone experience for students is their final research project, which they conduct with the guidance of one of three faculty mentors. I would definitely recommend this program to anyone who would like to gain firsthand experience in public health and tropical medicine. Um, this program offers a chance to challenge yourself and share an experience with other people who share the same passion as you. It's a really unique experience and you take everything you learn in the classroom and you can apply it to settings in global health and I feel like with the work that we're doing we're not only learning but making a difference in the community. You know, to come with an open mind and ready to learn. Uh, Costa Rica is a beautiful country and there, it has a ton to offer. And, you know, sometimes you might be wet or uh, tired, but, you know, really try to take in everything from every experience you have here. We have worked hard to create a unique program that combines classroom activities, field work, and hands-on learning. So if you're a motivated student and you're interested in topics of public health, tropical medicine, and ethnobiology, you should apply now and we'll see you next semester.